Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Welcome. It's me. Hi. My name is Fanta. And it's your man Darwin. We just came back from seven nights in the beautiful country of Belize. Yeah, too soon. Too <laughs> soon, right? Yeah. Honestly, we could live there. On a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. what would you rate Belize? So I think we came back too soon. If I could rate it, I would give it something between a seven and an eight. Okay. So let's like go a, with like a 7.5. That's really good. Yeah. You know, we, we had, had a good time. Yeah. My heart is still in Belize. Yeah. We're going to let you know how We're gonna get you guys. Yeah. came to 7.5. We're also going to let you know some tips. Traveling to Belize can be a little bit tricky. So we're yeah. going to give you some pointers to help make your trip smooth sailing. Be sure to watch until the end of this video because there are going to be so many tips that if you had only known them, your trip would have been just maybe a 9 or a 10. And if you haven't watched part 1 and part 2 of our Belize vlog, go click on those because they can give you some good insight of things to do while you're out there and things to look out for. Let's get into it. This is your first time hearing about the country of Belize. It is a country in Central America, mm -hmm. right below Mexico, also bordering Guatemala, and it's right along the Caribbean Sea. So you do get that beautiful view. Lots of, of the culture. Ocean, yeah. Lots of culture. They call it New York City or America the mm -hmm. melting pot, but honestly, I feel like Belize is low key the yeah. melting pot. We At had least a lot the of melting fun. pot. Yeah. Fun. That's one of the reasons why we chose Belize. It wasn't too far away from the States, so it allowed us to have a quick getaway. We wanted to be able to immerse ourselves in various different cultures. And it was just nice for like a quick, romantic, yeah. relaxing, but also fun type of getaway. Away, yeah. Belize was a good choice. Belize is like a good blend of mm -hmm. fun activity, adventure, and also relaxing. Sun, sand, there's yeah, sea, right? there's yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, like there's there's a quite a bit of activities to do out there. So it was it was a good choice. That was it. And if you've seen a couple of our other vlogs, you already know I recently had leg surgery, mm -hmm. so I'm still recovering from a lot of that. You know, we were looking for something that we can still get out there and who could navigate fun. freely. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and. You did great out there, so yeah, yeah. thanks to you, baby. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So when you are actually in Belize, mm -hmm. there's like a whole bunch of things that you can do. Cave tubing, mm -hmm. going to check out the ruins. We got to cook authentic Belizean food. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of classes. We did pottery, so we got to learn how they make stuff yeah. from scratch. Yeah. They even make their own paint. Yeah. What else did we get to do? Oh. If you went to Secret yeah. Beach, where you can actually get served drinks and food while you're in the ocean. That was my first time that making was, that it was, kind of experience. It was awesome, yeah. yeah. We got to drive golf carts, which yeah. is so exciting. Like, and you can also swim the sharks. Yeah. And there's a lot of fishing. They're big mm -hmm. on fishing. They're big on like scuba diving. Yeah. That's definitely something to do. And if you just like to be on the town, there's a good city life. We found the hookah lounge out there. We got to walk around the town. There were some nightclubs. There's a good mix of stuff to do yeah. out there. We stayed in two places, mm -hmm. two cities while visiting Belize. The first one was San Pedro, which is on a separate island. The second part of our trip was in Cristo Rey, which is like a couple of miles out of the larger town, San Ignacio. Mm -hmm. But getting to San Pedro in general, there are so many options. It can literally give you a headache. So what did we do? First, we took a flight mm -hmm. to Belize. Yep. To what part of Belize did we take it to? Belize City. Okay, so we took a flight into Belize City. It was about five hours or so. Then when we got there, our first destination was San Pedro. You can either take a boat mm -hmm. or you can take a plane. Yeah. So when you take the plane, it just takes like 15 minutes really um, to get to San Pedro. Yeah, but if you decide to take a boat i think it's they like said like two, two hours two hours yeah with and your the, luggage yeah and it's like a, a bumpy kind of like it's not like a super pleasant mm -hmm. boat ride we chose to take the plane because we it was already a long flight we were traveling mm -hmm. we were up early we're like let's just take this plane get there have peace of mind and check in yeah definitely. so we took the plane and it was so nice too we bought beers at the airport mm -hmm. like a balkan beer we got to sit right behind the pilot yeah it's a really cool water experience. we were right in the front it was only like us and like another couple it was quick short and sweet which is exactly what we were looking for because yeah. when we were trying to figure out whether we should take the ferry or take a plane you know we didn't want to take the plane because like taking a plane i think it's about like 80 dollars or so each yeah i think we spent like 200 yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. Taking a boat, although it's a lot cheaper, mm -hmm. I was just reading too many reviews about how like sometimes uncomfortable it was. Yeah, yeah. Like, it can be cramped. Like Fonza said, you go on with your luggage, yeah. and you know you got the water splashing on you. Once I saw a review that said water, <laughs> we're like, nah, no, I'm brainer. not trying to get wet. Like after a flight, <laughs> no, no you way. Know? So once we landed in San Pedro, uh, oh, and we I'm were, sorry, you oh, you heard it, right? Mira una croquetica bien rica. Oh. En un sándwich para una croqueta preparada te va a encantar. Happy your sandwich. So well, once we landed in San Pedro, we were able to just directly go ahead and pick up some golf carts. There was a guy right outside, so much fun. pretty much waiting for us. You know, there are a lot of like vendors trying to see like who yeah. is looking for golf carts. Mm -hmm. So there was this one guy. He came up to us. We we're like, yeah, you know, we actually do need golf carts. Yeah. We were deciding whether or not to rent a car or do a golf cart or just take a cab to yeah. a hotel first and mm -hmm. then rent golf carts with them. But they had good rates. Exactly. Yeah, because we were looking before we even got there. So we kind of had like a ballpark out there. Everyone drives golf carts because mm -hmm. the streets are narrow. It's easy to navigate. navigate the bumpy roads. So we looked up the pricing range. So we kind of had an idea. The company that I guess we had in mind, mm -hmm. the pricing was way higher than the person that we yeah. had found. So we were like, this is a steal. Let's just get the golf cart now. We'll save on a cab, all yeah. of that stuff. And it was about like $200 for yeah. four days. Yeah. Four or five days. Yeah. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. And then we got to like practice driving the golf cart. I got to drive it. Yeah, Fonta was actually pretty nice. She I was, was whipping it. it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was fun. It was, it was a little dusty, you yeah. know, and but- we got lost going oh, to the hotel. Yeah. Cause we, made our number we always say we always always we always always, always say to download google maps and i don't know why for some reason i guess because it was such a spontaneous trip we literally booked it like i think a week before yeah. we went so we planned it really quickly and the last step was to download google maps and we forgot to do that Messed so up. they think... gave us instructions <laughs> but it was verbal so it was like yeah just go all the way down to the end keep right take a left and then go straight down you'll see it on your right so i guess at some point i took a left instead and of a right we just kept going left right in the wrong direction and we actually ended up in secret beach which was one of the destinations that we wanted to go to like one of the days on a trip so we just knew it was opposite from where we needed to be yeah and then that's when we realized we had to go the other direction. Yeah. So our trip that was supposed to be like 20 minutes um, from like the airport. Yeah. Half, right? yeah. It taught us so much about the island it though. Did. If you want to learn about a place, go, go and get lost. Yeah. Honestly. No, literally. <laughs> The next couple of days after, when we went to Secret Beach, we already knew, take that right in the fork. It's yeah. on that side because you got lost there the other day. So. Yeah. But yeah, that was a fun little adventure we had. And we also became like <laughs> professional golf cart drivers. Yes, we did. We learned a lot of things from just mm. driving golf carts. And just to let you know, driving a golf cart influences what you decide to wear. No, seriously. I was so worried about my hair because there's no windows, yeah. there's no doors. There's also nowhere to store your belongings. You put like a steering wheel lock on when you park, but like, everything is out in the open. You have to travel light. You have to either wear like a scarf for your hair to preserve it. There's like a lot of dust too, because the roads are not um, like they're paved. not concrete they're not like and paved. paved. Yeah, it's kind of sandy a little bit and very bumpy. So mm -hmm. it's like you want to wear something that's comfortable. So when you're in a car, you're fine. But you also want to wear something that will still look intact when you get to your destination. Yeah. So it was, it was a little tricky. I didn't, I didn't wear any heels while I was out there. My hair, pretty much, I just had to leave it to God because <laughs> bring shades. I know you go on vacation. Yeah. Generally, you might bring shades, but for the purposes of driving around in San Pedro bring shades because yeah. you're gonna need it to protect your eyes from the dust a lot mm -hmm. of people you know they wear like little scars, bandanas and stuff yeah, yeah. Bandanas. Mm -hmm. so bring shades it'll yeah. help. at nighttime it gets a little chillier so i would bring like a an oversized sweater. sweater or something to just throw over my outfit and then i can just shove that in the golf cart i don't have to worry about that getting stolen yeah driving it was fun it's small it's compact as long as you have your license you should be fine our means of transportation in Cristo Rey, the second half of our trip was a little different. Yeah. For that one, we just chose to get around by taxi. The mm -hmm. Airbnb that we booked, they had a solid two or three taxis that would come pick us up at the drop of a dime. So that yeah. was really helpful. We could text them in the morning or the night before and say, we're going to go to these locations. Can you take us? And some of them also acted like a tour guide, pretty much. Mm -hmm. They would be like, I recommend you go here. I'll show you around. So like we went to the temple, Zunan mm -hmm. Tunik, and the driver that we had, she actually yeah. took us up to the temple and like gave us time up there. And even after that, she took us to like 
an entire coconut tree field a farm yeah. yeah so we got to see like a farm with all the fruits and see how like fruitful the land is if you just ask them about anything that you want to do or see or if you want to see like the authentic beliefs just ask yeah. your driver because they're very friendly but be safe of course yeah. <laughs> So when you're in Crystal Ray in San Ignacio, you can dress cute if you want to. You can wear heels. I still didn't wear heels because I just wanted to be able to like walk around the town because there's like a lot of places that you can kind of hop to, but you can dress cuter because you're in an air conditioned vehicle, yeah. hopefully, because I think they don't turn on their air conditioning unless they're going into town. Yeah, unless they're going a like longer really, drive. Really far, yeah. yeah, and it's really hot out there, just so you guys know. Blazing. It was like 90. Yeah. Degrees. Blazing. Like, as soon as you step outside, like, the humidity hits you so hard. So hard. Make sure you always have a bottle of water. If you're doing any activities, make sure you have water. We made the mistake of going hiking <laughs> without a bottle of water. I don't know why we always do this. <laughs> we did but the same thing in Hawaii, but it was hard. <laughs> we stay hydrated with liquor, I know, right? <laughs> but we forget to drink water. So yeah, just make sure you stay hydrated yeah. out there. It's, it's and, for, and for the fellas, honestly, you can probably wear the same thing in San Pedro that you might wear in Cristo Rey, San Ignacio. I think one of the main differences is that San Pedro it really has like that island vibe. You go into town, you get yeah. a coconut water. Yeah, but you can still find like those uh, lavish establishments. More upscale. Crystal Ray, it feels very comfortable. It feels very homey. It's more jungly. Yeah. More lush. More jungly yeah. Well. Yeah, we chose to take cabs while we were out there just because it was easy to set up with our Airbnb. Mm -hmm. But if you want to rent a car, you can also rent a car out there and drive. Yeah. The streets are narrow in Belize though. Yeah. But in San Ignacio, the streets were wider. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was easier better. to navigate then. And they're not as bumpy as yeah. in San Pedro. Mm -hmm. With our taxis, I mm -hmm. think throughout the like what four days being there like calling a taxi every day for multiple times we probably spent it's like maybe the, 250 yeah. total yeah or so so you can compare like that taxi cost to what it might be like to rent which and is probably like around the same thing i would also just think about like how many things are you planning to do in a day how far in advance do you want to coordinate do you want to be someone that just wants to get up and go because i think if we stayed there for a few yeah. more days because i think by like the fourth day we were like oh i don't want to keep calling them to come yeah. pick us up if we stayed longer we probably would have rented a car yeah. but i think this vacation we just didn't want to do any of any, any of the work we're thing, so yeah. used to like i just came back from a travel nursing contract we're so used to driving everywhere because we just drove across hard. the country for that so yeah and working hard we just wanted to <laughs> literally vacate so belize is one of those places if you just want to go and lounge you can we wanted to be chauffeured <laughs> we deserved it pretty much but, yeah <laughs> a big question that we get about belize mm -hmm. is it expensive Depends how you look at it, honestly. Yeah, depends how you want to live it yeah. out there. Because you, you can go upscale if you want. And you can live very modest. You can eat mm -hmm. street food or you can always go out to big restaurants. Because yeah. they do have the ones that you have to make reservations for. And or you can, you. you know, really have that chill, I think, authentic and very organic Belizean lifestyle. The currency there is a uh, one to two ratio. And they do take card out there. They do take cash. They do mm -hmm. have their own currency. When we went to San Ignacio, we actually had to make a stop at an ATM because we didn't have any cash on us at all. Cash to pay the cabs or to Yeah, because you tip. Yeah. We also wanted to order food. So like yeah. the place we were at, you order for like from like small mom and pop shops so like we we ordered breakfast and dinner and you give cash and tip with that so yeah, yeah. exactly mm -hmm. so we did have to make that stop at an atm i think when we went it was a friday right oh yeah so it was payday yeah like so the line was long one of the reasons why i was giving um beliefs like a 7.5 was because we wanted to book an easy vacation mm -hmm. that was relaxing had all the things relaxing fun romantic so for the first location we went in san pedro we stayed at a beachfront hotel and our room was one where you could walk straight out onto the yeah. beach so we imagine it to be gorgeous you would watch the sunrise on the beach and all of that stuff get to go kayaking but when we got there we were so disappointed because in the season we went end yeah. of march beginning of april ish pretty much on the beaches there is sargasm i thought it was seaweed but sargasm um so they just it comes on the shore but the hotel we were staying at was one that cleans it so they would clean it periodically so that the beaches would be nice. But it just comes in way too fast, faster than, you know, people can take it out. Yeah. It's not even something that's in their control. Like, yeah. it tends to move with the years. It just so happens that it's in that part of the yeah. of Central America right now, mm -hmm. in that area. But hopefully in the next year or so, it'll start moving to another direction. But in general, like, 
this is just like something that's happening in the world. Yeah. So we were lucky to have found Secret Beach. Which was um, beautiful, clean. Yeah. On a different side of the Crystal island. Crystal yeah. waters. Mm -hmm. And that's where we were served. Drinks in the water, yeah. food in the water. It's nice. It just depends on what part of the island you're on. And seasonal, I yeah. guess. And there's a lot to do at Secret Beach too. Mm -hmm. They have the bouncy houses. That oh yeah, there's the water, water games that you can play. Um, I think they have like banana boat. And there's a bunch of different bars on Secret Beach. Yeah. It's super long on the shore and it's all crystal clear. You can choose which restaurants you want to go eat yeah. at based off of the menus. You can bar hop throughout your day on Secret Beach and yeah. see different points of it. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot there's to a do. Lot to yeah. Do. There's lots of good music and everything. Yeah, let us know if you guys have any questions about travel to Belize. It's just a little tricky when you get there with navigating planes and taxis. But once you're there, there's like so many things to do. If you want to see the experience we had, um, definitely check out part one and two of our Belize vlogs. So if you like what you see, don't forget to like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. And subscribe. Stay tuned.